What's going on YouTube? It's Tag97 again. I hope all you doing okay and well with you and your families. So we're going over something that we usually don't go over on this YouTube channel, which is a double barrel shotgun. So today we're reviewing the Stoger double defense 12 gauge shotgun. And real quick, if you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. I do have a Patreon and an Instagram down in the description down below with the social media links. Please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also donate if you can. I get no revenue from YouTube, so that would mean a lot to me. So thank you to those who are my viewers, subscribers, and my Patreon donors, of course. And a special thank you to Amber Tactical Solutions. He's been lending firearms to his YouTube channel for a long time. I highly recommend him for Serico work. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so I want to say a very quick disclaimer real quick before we get on the specifications. I want to say that this firearm is empty, there's nothing inside the chamber, and it's pointed in a safe direction at all times while recording. So for those that are at home, you do not have to worry. And also food for thought, treat every firearm as if it's loaded, it definitely saves lives for sure. So with that being said, let's get on to the specifications. So you have two options which you can do. You can do the side by side, which we're reviewing for today's review, or under over. Mostly people choose the under over for ski shooting or hunting of any sort. I personally love side by side and I'm glad I'm able to review the side by side one. So let's talk about the length real quick. So the overall length roughly is what I got is 37 inches and that barrel length is gonna be leaving at 20 inches. It's also ported and it looks kinda of cool to be honest too. You have two Picate rails, the one on the bottom and an option to run on top. However, the owner of this farm removed the one on top saying it was unnecessary since they weren't gonna run a red dot. And to be honest, it was fine. I thought it looked cool without it. Now you can use that Picate rail on top to use as a rear iron sight to line with your front post but it's not necessary and you'll see that later in the video. And also your front sight is a green fiber optic, so it's very easy to pick up with the eye. Okay, so let's tap into the capacity of this shotgun, ammunition we use in today's video, and the best recommended shells to be using with most 12 gauge shotguns recommended by me. So obviously let's use common sense. This is a double barrel shotgun, so your maximum capacity is going to be two rounds. However, if you want to, you can shoot one at a time. That is up to you as the shooter. Now you can shoot between two and three quarter inch, all the way to three inch as you're choosing. Now let's talk about the ammunition we use in today's video, which was Winchester. I've been using Winchester for many years now from different calibers, gauges, and etc. And it was also eight shot we shot. And I'll show you the small group patterns that we got later in the video after we're doing that shooting compilation. So recommendation. Now, when it comes to going to certain type of ranges, at least where I work at, there's restrictions with shot type for bird shot and you know restrictions on slugs and double a buck. So I always recommend calling the range that you're going to to see what they prefer you to shoot for a shotgun. Preferably what I would choose would be between seven and nine shot. I mean, obviously there's six out there and etc. However, just call to make sure, but I recommend seven and nine since most ranges allow it. Now, double buck running through the shotgun seems to be fine and same thing with running slugs from what I heard from other people. However, I did see like one or two comments saying that slugs were a little bit overkill for the shotgun. However, I did not review the shotgun shooting slug, so I cannot say for sure, but I think you'll be fine. Okay, so let's quickly talk about the trigger that is installed into this firearm real quick. I did you the favor of saving you time doing multiple testing with this trigger to see what I got. Now, some dull barrel shotguns have two triggers. This one only has one, so it resets. Now, I got very consistently the first round that I got between six and a half to seven pounds, very confidently I can say. Now the follow-up shot for some reason was more heavier. I got between eight and just slightly heavier than eight pounds. I don't know if it's just this firearm in particular or if it was designed to do that, but usually your follow-up shot should be a little bit less poundage, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's wrap up these specifications real quick with the weight of this firearm and the MSRP. So the weight of this shotgun i got roughly on my scale six pounds and 13.2 ounces so 
to me it's kind of light some people complained about saying it's really heavy i would assume the wood version of this would definitely add some weight but because this is polymer it's not going to bother you very much now let's talk about that msrp due to the pandemic and overpricing and price gouging stuff it's just ridiculous with some of the pricing however on the stoker website it says it's 449 dollars i've seen it for a little bit less in some places however places like cern bidding things online i'm not going to say any names but you know what i'm talking about they're asking for more than 500 dollars and sometimes roughly 500 so pricing will definitely be kind of weird ranging but i wouldn't think you'd pay anything less than 330 if you do write down the comment sections because that's a definitely a steal on your part but expect to pay roughly 500 bucks i'm just trying to give you guys a rough estimate so if you want a budget put 500 dollars aside to buy this firearm in particular okay so since i am done talking about the specifications let's tap into how i personally feel about this firearm negative and positive and anytime I talk negative about farmers, me, I'm bashing the company, try to make them look bad, or vice versa. When I talk positive, it doesn't mean I'm kissing up to the company. It's just my own personal opinion. So if you disagree, just take it with a grain of salt because who cares? I'm just a YouTuber. So let's get into that negativity. Now, the one thing I'm going to say is I don't really shoot shotguns that often. So there may be certain terms I'm not familiar with. However, I do know for sure that certain shotguns do have ejectors where automatically ejects the shells that are spent and usually will keep the one that is not shot inside the barrel still ready to go. With this one, you have to manually extract those rounds every time either it's shot or not shot. So I found that very slow when reloading, at least with me because I'm not an expert. If you shoot shotgun a lot and you use dull barrels, do you prefer having a ejector automatically or do you like taking them out by yourself? Let me know in the comment section. I'd really like to know. But personally, I wish because it's a tactical shotgun that it would be flying out automatically so I don't have to waste time doing that. Now, another thing is the auto safety lock. I am not a big fan of that. I think it's a very big nuisance. Now, with certain type of shooters, yeah, I can kind of see where it's necessary because a lot of people tend to rest their figure on a trigger when they shouldn't be. But it is what it is. Now... In a stressful situation, let's just say you're using this for self-defense, you put new rounds in, you're ready to go, but you forgot to take it off safe, and boom, you're dead. So I find that to be a very flawed design. I would personally rather have it on fire at all times when loading and then re-engaging a target. But for safety reasons, I could see why certain people would have that. Now, let's talk about the break-in period. I haven't broken in fully, but it is definitely way looser than it was before out of the package. And obviously, I cleaned it and lubed it up, so it made it a little bit more smoother. But it definitely needs to be broken in. So don't be discouraged when you get it and it's like really stiff. That's normal. You're fine. It's just going to take a breaking-in period. I always recommend using a 3-inch Magnum slug to break in most shotguns however it's not always recommended especially with this type of shotgun i don't know if it can handle that but you should be okay okay so let's talk about the things i like about this firearm so right off the bat i always love the tactical black look i did hear they used to make a wood version in black but due to certain issues they stopped making it so this is the polymer version and it just looks really cool in my opinion the fiber optic sight in the front is nice to port a barrel the availability of doing so with Picatello rail and the availability that you can do to take it off if not running any optic or you can leave it on as a rear iron sight. There's different options you can do to customize it to you as the shooter. And also you can get it under over side by side like the one we're reviewing. And you can run different type of loads through this 12 gauge, as long as it's 12 gauge too, let me say that. Handles recoil pretty fine, accurate, durable. And I feel like it could take roughly a decent beating. So I would say this is definitely a recommended shotgun in the beginning for just a bang around shotgun made for fun. And yes, if you want to use it for self-defense, but like I said, I discourage it. Overall, I'm very satisfied with this shotgun. And I feel like if you buy it and you run it, that you have the same joy I did, hopefully more than I did experience so you can get quicker at reloading 
because I am absolutely atrocious at reloading those barrel shotguns. It takes me forever. So with that being said, let's get into the main course of the meal, the shooting compilation. So if you did get to this part of the video, I always recommend you go back to learn the specifications if you're purchasing it or interested in purchasing it, just so you get a better feel for it. If you're just watching me for entertainment, that's fine. Just make sure you guys do me a solid hit that subscribe button and like button. It means so much to me. So without wasting any more of your time, enjoy the student compilation and I'll be right back. So as you see, the Stoger Double Defense 12 gauge shotgun in the Tactical Black is definitely an awesome shotgun. I had a blast shooting it. It was fun. I love the accuracy. It feels very reliable, durable. I just wish I was able to have the rounds eject automatically when I break that action. But other than that, it was fun to shoot. If you have any doubts about your loading capabilities just do a couple of dry fire runs with it and try to get used to loading it just make sure you're being safe about it i just didn't really have much time to practice with it i kind of just went in and just shot it right off the bat so other than that it is tag 97 approved it is definitely recommended so before you leave i do want to show the accuracy now at 15 yards this is what the target looked like obviously 15 yards is not really far away, but mostly practical for a shotgun. And I want to show you the group room real quick. Yes, I'm very well aware it was eight shots, bird shots, so it's going to spread everywhere. I just want to show you the grouping for a small target. But other than that, I think it's a reliable shotgun and you will definitely get your money's worth. So I got nothing more to say. I love y'all. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll catch you next time and see you when I see you.